So my lovely sister and I own cookingwithkeitlin.com and we were in business for 10 years. Our elevator speech was we were food marketers and content creators. So we did as much as we can with food while our children napped, went to school, all of that good stuff. So we pride ourselves on being moms first. Between Kelly and I, we have seven kids and our whole life is built around our family. So the restaurant too. So you spoke about the hours are a little different. We have, we are only open Friday starting at four, Saturday starting at five, and Sunday nine to two for brunch. The reason being, we are able then to do pickups, drop-offs, parent-teacher conferences, all of that good stuff, and not miss a moment of what's really important. So, um, we also started doing meals to go recently, and that's been very fun. That's Monday nights. So, Ooh, so tell me more about that. I yeah. was, I, I, I know oh, I've fine. seen it, but I have not explored it. So yes. tell me more about what your Monday night thing is. So starting on Wednesday, we launched the menu, and we have four options. One's a soup, one is veg, one is usually gluten-free. Uh, we try to do one super comfort food option as well. And then biscuits. I make as many biscuits as I can and we sell those to go with everything. But we give you the details, the prices on Wednesday. You have to place your order by Friday. We have meals for two people or four people portions. And we make it all on Monday. We come in, start super early, have it ready for you to pick up between five to eight on Monday nights. So nice. everything can be put in your refrigerator or your freezer. And it's just an extension of our brand in regards to sitting around the dinner table and getting to be family. Very so, good. So, and yeah. your menu changes each week, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, Since you said you come up with the menu, right? So we've done awesome. our mom's meatloaf. We've done veggie pad thai. We have done... This week we had a chorizo chowder where it was homemade chorizo and slow cooked Sounds potatoes. Amazing. It was delicious. So. And not not to get yeah. too too far into your brand, but oh, you yeah. guys also since since Caitlin and I are friends and I and we have been we've been <laughs> friends in the blogging world for years I and that's know. how we met. Really, like gosh, probably you back in twenty eleven or something. A burger and wrote the nicest post ever oh, about us. So sweet. We were one of your first like one hundred. Yes, yes, year. yes. Okay. And. I didn't get to meet you the day that you got burgers. Of course, Kelly did and learned all about what you were doing. And we still, I still have that blog post saved on my computer oh, as a favorite. You're so sweet. The pictures were beautiful. You said so many nice things, and we weren't related to you. And it, that was you know, at Fountain Square when you guys were doing Fountain Square. So you, yes, and from there we started doing your third Thursday events, which yes. you still do those, right? Yeah, we yeah, still, which is, still do the tickets. So we have about sixty tickets. It's the third Thursday of every month. We've been doing, December will be our 10 year anniversary of doing it. Wow. And we've never done the same menu twice. So it's nine courses of food, $25, and then a cash bar. And nobody knows the menu in advance, including my lovely sister who will be serving everything. And it's just my way, our chef's way, of getting to play with food, different techniques, different ingredients, all of that good stuff. And it's so fun. And, and it's you, so good. Oh, you, you are nice. like, I always tell everyone, you are like the queen of unusual combinations and unusual textures but it's all so good you just have such a knack for putting nice things that I would consider weird combos together <laughs> that you walk away saying oh my gosh how did I never think of this before so great. So, thank you so yes I think so. speaking of that it's fitting what I made for you today so Thanksgiving is Kelly's favorite holiday um I enjoy it a lot because it's lots of family and beverages and all of that good stuff but I usually get the short end of the straw and just make it all myself, just surrender and get it done. But um, I made for you today get a stuffing. So as a good Cincinnati girl, uh, you got to have get a as much as humanly possible. So. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the recipe that we're doing, it's super easy. You throw onions, carrots, celery into a food processor, saute it for a little bit with some butter, add your get cook it all together, and it becomes like this creamy creamy situation in your pan and then you stir in Pepperidge Farm stuffing mix so it has the spices and the croutons all of that and a little bit of chicken broth and then you bake it in the oven oh so it's almost like if you made sausage stuffing but you're totally. using getta that sounds so yeah. amazing and Caitlin is going to share the recipe with us I'll add that to the post again after I get home um, Caitlin has the recipe for this up on their blog so I'll put a link in there so you guys can try this at home but do you ever make your own getta? Have you ever you tried know it? What? I have not. The reason being, I grew up on Glear's getta yeah. and nothing tastes like it's in the same way you're loyal to whatever chili you grew yeah. up eating. Yeah. I'm just loyal to that and I just 
I don't know if I can do it as well. Yeah. And it's a whole day process. It is. Yeah. A, that's what everybody says. It's a whole day yeah. process. You guys, leave in the comments for us if you make your own. Get a. Um, I, I would love to hear how you do it. I've always oh. wondered if I, because I'm a big cook. And, yeah. Um, it's. I've always wondered. But like you said, I have... I love um, Getta from Humbert's, which is oh, on Whitten Road, the meat market. The street, people that is, feel very... Yes. Humbert's we hear a lot about in Eckerland, in Philly yes, Market. Yes, Eckerland's is excellent yes, as well. They have the best Getta, like homemade Getta situations yes. from what I've heard. But yes. I love Glear's. But Glear's, so. is, it, it is so good too. Yeah. And that's that's what we always buy whenever we have a visit out of oh. town and somebody wants Getta. We right. always... Cause it's, and it's easy. You can pick that up right. at the supermarket. Exactly. And, you can get the five pound long, yes. one yeah. pound long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so, good. Okay, I'll get it out of the oven. So, Caitlin, while you're doing that, Nikki DeWitt says, Caitlin is awesome. Go CWC. <laughs> That's very nice. Nikki's the best ever. So, yeah. Nikki is a loyal Meals to Go getter, and she just had dinner here on Saturday. Oh, awesome. So That's awesome. the thing about the restaurant is everybody becomes family. Yeah, so yes. You, it, Kelly knows your whole family story, and then I know what you like to eat. So It's um, a good combo. Yes. So, okay. this is the this is the get a stuffing that just came yes. out of the oven, right? Okay. Yeah, see and see it's it already warmed from the saute pan, and so it's just a matter of browning it and getting the crispy bits up on top, and it's ready to eat, so. So, Caitlin, could you make this ahead? Yes, and you can even keep it in your freezer, and then the for when you're getting things from the freezer to the oven, it's time and a half, so okay. if the rest, of, I can't think of the minutes off the top of right. my head, but so if it's the 30 minutes in the oven, then it's... 45 minutes okay from freezer to oven. Fr straight from the freezer yes. no defrost needed or do you defrost I it mean, it, would, it would be better to defrost process. it right yeah. yeah okay but uh you can definitely make this a day in advance and we nothing goes to waste in our house so you can put this in a waffle iron with some Pam and make it for breakfast the oh next my day. Gosh, that would with be an so egg over top. It's pretty good. ridiculous. That would so, be amazing actually yeah. with like a soft cooked egg. Oh, oh that would be amazing. Then it, it's like tis the season. There you go. So this oh. again was an onion, celery, and um, carrots, right? Correct. Sauteed with with butter. some with butter. Yeah. I can't forget the butter. How can I forget the butter? And um, crumbled up getta then, yeah. right? And we um, just throw it in raw and cook it all together, and it becomes like this creamy consistency. And I cannot <laughs> pass this up. It is almost lunchtime, you guys. I know. So here is a, see if I can get a good picture of it, how good that looks. It's amazing. Oh, that's nice of you. So if you make it and then put it in the oven, it'll be warm from the saute pan. But you could even just put it under the broiler to get the crispy bits put on top. Caitlin, that is so good. Oh, you know, I don't know if I would know. Like, if you didn't tell me for all the people who say they don't like getta, exactly. you're going to love it. It's because it's recipe. It is a gateway recipe. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my gosh, I can I want to buy a waffle iron just so I can make this into waffles the next day. That was so very good. I am married a Hoosier, so I feel like a lot of my cooking influence is how to get him to love Cincinnati. This is, <laughs> and this is a good gateway recipe. That is a that. great one. So, um... So, Caitlin, tell us again, for people who are turning to just tuning in, give yes. us a little um, blip about what you do here at CWC The Restaurant. Yes. So, CWC The Restaurant is located in Wyoming, Ohio, a northern suburb, um, right off of 75. Our address is 1517 Springfield Pike. And we took an old car wash, painted it with eggs, and added fresh flowers and our family's plates and served dinner. Friday night starting at 4, Saturday night starting at 5. And Sunday's nine to two, and we would love to have y'all. So 